City Council member Treyon White is calling on the National Guard's help to reduce violence in the district. So far, 16 people have been killed this month and there have been 161 homicides this year, a 28% spike from last year. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming has been covering the violence from many perspectives. Now, Leonard, this request is not very simple. No, Mark and Elisa, it's really not. You know, Mayor Muriel Bowser has to approve of the National Guard to come in, has to write that request, and there's no indication that she will, but people like Treyon White, the councilman here in Ward 8, he wants answers and he wants resolution and results to stem the violence. The violence has been intense and unrelenting in D.C. 13 people have been killed in the past five days, and police have struggled to contain the violence. Councilman Treyon White says he has spoken to the D.C. National Guard about the parameters and wants its help with armed guards. He knows it's a tall order to get the mayor and even President Joe Biden to sign off on this. Right now we are in Ward 8. But the sad reality is that the violent crime that historically has been east of Anacostia River has been like cancer, untreated and unresolved. And as a result, it has spread throughout the city. Well, Councilman White says he plans on speaking with Mayor Bowser when she returns from vacation, but he also said he's concerned that MPD police officers have been overwhelmed by the sheer firepower of these illegal guns that many people have in the streets of D.C., particularly in this area where there have been, there have been multiple shootings. Reporting from Southeast D.C., Leonard and Fleming, D.C. News Now, back to you.